saying, I can't do anything in this area unless I inform my man about it. God gives men and women stewardship of regions and purposes and plans for seasons. And I declare to you that World Changers Church and this apostle and this woman of God now are coming into a dimension of stewardship not only of this church but of this entire region and an apostolic grace is coming upon them for the message of the grace of God in the body of Christ nationally and internationally now you know this but the Spirit of God told me to speak it and Dr. Dollar, I'm going to give this to you, sir. I'm going to ask you just to come, if you would. And Sister Taffy, I'm going to ask you to come, if you would. And I am going to ask you, sir, by permission, may I speak a word to the both of you? M may I? Thank you, sir. I want you to stretch your hands towards the angels of the house. And I asked the Lord this morning, I said, God, do you want me to say this publicly or do you want me to say it privately? Because I can say it to the man of God privately. And he, and, and he said, I'll let you know when you're finished. Because <laughs> I guess he didn't want me to get nervous <laughs> prophesying to this man of God, this woman of God who are now senior statements. Stretch your hands toward him and pray in the spirit. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord say to me, Dr. Dollar, that because of your humility, because of your integrity to my word, because you have taken a no-nonsense approach to my things and wanted to make them real and simple and authentic to my people, I have honored you. And I will continue to honor you, but I will raise you now this day in the sight of all the body of Christ. For you have been humble and you have said, no, Lord, it's not necessary. I don't need this and I don't need to say that and I don't need to call myself that. I'm just your servant. But the Lord says, I have made you an apostle in my kingdom, an apostle of faith, an apostle of grace, an apostle in the body of Christ. And did I not say, my son, because you have integrity and because you look to the integrity of my word but did I not say he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward understand you do not take the title and mantle of apostleship for your sake but you say it so that the grace of that apostleship can be imparted and received everywhere you go for you have seen and you even inquired of me not long ago says the Lord you saw the generals leaving you saw this one go and that one go and you inquired of me Lord what is this and the Lord says it is because there is a new day something better is coming and I have made you a steward of my grace and an apostle of this message understand my son though you do not want the ceremony and you do not have to have a big to do you must embrace the office and not be ashamed of letting men and women call you an apostle for an apostle you are this you know and I confirm it this day in the sight of many witnesses that you may know this is not something you take upon yourself but something I have given says the spirit of grace for my body worldwide in the name of Jesus if you agree with that word and you receive it I want you to lift your hands I want you to open your mouth I want you 